Rhode Island State Police roll out a new ride. You may have noticed recently that state troopers are now patrolling the highways in a different kind of police car. We were curious about the new cruisers and went to the state police headquarters for answers. Highway to Sue's reporter Andrew Adamson joins us now from Situate with the details that are new at 5. It's out with the old and in with the new for Rhode Island State Police. I went right to police to find out why they decided to upgrade to new cruisers after more than two decades. <laughs> State police are revving up some new engines this fall. Eyewitness News cameras got a first look at the brand new vehicles at state police headquarters. Early reviews from the road are that the performance is unparalleled from what they were driving before. Troopers had been driving Ford Crown Victorias, but in 2011, Ford stopped making the cars and closed their plant. It's been our war course for about 20 years now, so we were forced to come up with a new vehicle. After six months of researching and testing, police chose the 2012 Chevy Caprice over the Dodge Charger and Ford Interceptor. Instructors were, uh, were highly impressed with this vehicle and this is what we decided to go to based on a number of factors, safety, comfort and performance. Of the vehicles they tested, the Caprice scored first for size and braking. When it comes to acceleration, it leaves the old cars in the dust. If the trooper set a dead standstill and somebody goes by them at 95 miles an hour, to accelerate and catch up quickly will generally diffuse things very quickly. Another bonus, the Caprice has 10 airbags instead of the old cars too. Many things that are going to keep the troopers safe, which in the end is the most important thing for us. The old Crown Victorias are expected to be phased out in the near future. And I'm told that state police will fully implement their new line of vehicles, 20 in all, over the next month. With the Northwest Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.